All right, so currently on the way to a little city called Gastonia. Uh, I did a search on the marketplace on Facebook because I've really been needing a capture card to do my streaming with. So, <clears throat> quit growling at joggers. Ember's with me today, by the way. He's, he's, he's coming along for the journey. Really needed this capture card to get a better stream going. And the capture card they have out now is the version they released isn't compatible with Mac. But there's a previous version that is compatible with a Mac. And lo and behold, I search the Facebook marketplace in my tiny ass little town and a dude is selling one of the original capture cards for like, it's like half, less than half of what I would have to pay retail. So super chill dude. So I'm actually on the way right now to go meet him and pick that up. Hopefully he is not a murderer or a rapist. That's what I have my loyal guard dog for. Amber, you gonna protect me? Yeah, that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't happen. A health update for you guys. I've been doing way better. I finally kicked that cold. Uh, God, it took forever. Uh, it stayed in my sinuses longer than I was comfortable with. And I woke up one morning and had like some pain in my right ear. So I felt like it was turning into like a sinus infection slash ear infection. So I had some uh, like, I had a two week course of antibiotics uh, in my back stock because any self-respecting good CFR always keeps a back stock of antibiotics on them. <laughs> so I started popping those immediately nose cleared up ear cleared up so pretty positive that's what was happening but ever since then I've been good lungs are clearing up like everything that had drained into it like my my energy's back uh, I've been in the gym for the past two days today is a rest day thank God because my body is absolutely dude what are you doing back there my body is absolutely killing me today because I don't ease myself back into the gym whenever I go or whenever I have to like have a break. I just immediately go back to the weight that I was lifting before and my body hates me for it, but it'll be all right. So I'm not sure exactly how I did it, but I royally tweaked my shoulder and my neck. I think it might've been at the gym or either from coughing too hard, but the past three days have been a bit of a blur because Advil didn't touch it, nothing helped, so I had to take muscle relaxers, and I hate muscle relaxers. Apparently they don't affect a lot of people, but to me, I take one and I'm out, like unconscious. And then the next day I always feel like Gumby mixed with a fainting goat, because my whole body is just jello, and I'm always just falling asleep randomly. But today it feels the best it has, like it's still tender, but not as bad as it was. Yet another gym setback, so. That's fun stuff, but I'll probably still go. If it's if it's like this tomorrow, I'll go. I just, I'll try not to work this area. I'll probably just like start off with legs or something like that. And see how I feel on Tuesday. See if I want to do upper body or whatever. But I'm happy. The Saints just lost, so it's really all that matters. So they're Falcon rivals, so they won't get to go to the Super Bowl in our house. So it makes me happy. Uh, tonight is the blood moon and it's friggin' freezing outside. But I'm gonna layer up in a little bit and go out and try to get some rad shots of it. So, that's what's on my agenda for tonight. Not looking forward to how cold it's gonna be out there though. Not one bit. So it's like, I don't know, 25 degrees or lower, something like that. I'm out here getting progress shots of this partial eclipse slash blood moon. Um, I don't know where my other SD card has went, so I'm having to use my phone to record this. So sorry about the sudden crap quality. Uh, I'm just really bad about like misplacing SD cards. It's like so bad. If any of my followers have like a ton of spare, like class 10, uh, 80 megabytes per second, right speed and higher SD cards laying around, feel free to send them to me because I can use all of them because for some reason I lose... I lose the shit out of them, all right? And it's 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 so bad. But my, uh, my big tripod that I use for like photography and things like that, like the actual life-size tripod, I guess you would call it, it's a piece of crap. I've had it for years and it's been used and abused. The legs don't work hardly anymore. When you put the camera on top, 
the slightest shift in weight makes the whole top kind of flip like this because it just it doesn't hold anymore. So I found this really old skateboard and I have my, because the moon is so high up, it you know, right there. Because the moon is so high up, I'm basically having to shoot straight up. So I have camera propped on this really crappy skateboard coming straight up, shooting shots every 10 minutes or so. I have my monster here. Just kind of sitting on the ground. I have on base layers. I have on a base layer of leggings, hoodie under this, my uh, my buff, my Falcons beanie and gloves. Even though the Falcons were not in the playoffs still, I always got to represent. Uh, Patriots just won it not too long ago. So the Super Bowl is going to be boring as shit yet again. Hmm. It's been like, what, three or four months since the city of Boston won a, won a championship? Oh my god. I bet they're absolutely dying. It's been so long. There's very few pluses to me about living in the country. Very, very few. But this is one of them, being able to do stuff like this, like get these shots, because there's not very much light pollution where I am right now. Like, there is a street light like right there, but I have, a, I have like a boat and stuff behind me that's blocking it. So there's that light and then like a couple street lights, but there's not a ton of light pollution to where you're not going to be able to like get the shots that you want of the moon and the sky and such. And it's a super clear night. Like, oh my God, it is so beautiful outside tonight. So it's, uh, it's pretty rad. So that's what I'm doing. Just sitting here freezing, but it's okay. It's for a good cause. That cause is getting rad shots that I can play with later on in Photoshop and stuff. And hopefully I can make like a cool collage thing. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> oh God. No, oh, don't throw up. Don't throw up. So just left the gym. You know, earlier in this vlog, I was talking about how like my neck and shoulder and everything had been killing me. Well, I was doing treatments earlier yesterday, I believe it was, and I was doing hypertonic and I was coughing super, super hard. And like, it hurt because all my muscles were contracting and it was like right through here and like down into my shoulder blade. And like right here is where it was like sore the most. It's like I could barely move my neck, like, and I couldn't sleep, it was the worst. Well, I coughed my brains out doing hypertonic and it was hurting, hurting, hurting. And then I coughed really, really hard and I just happened to notice randomly, like, that didn't really hurt. Coughed again, didn't hurt. Coughed again, didn't hurt. I haven't had any pain throughout yesterday. And I just went to the gym and was fine. And, like, my neck is still a little sore. So I didn't do, like, super, super crazy heavy weight today like I usually would. But, like, the pain went away. And that's so weird. It's almost like I had, like, I don't know if I had a pinched nerve, a knotted muscle, or what, what that was. But... I literally coughed the pain away. And that's the first time that's ever happened because I have coughed, I've pulled my back out, I've pulled my neck out, I've pulled my growing muscle coughing so hard, but I have never like unpulled something via coughing. So it's definitely a, definitely a first for me, but I'll take it because just got out of the gym, feel good. The only bad thing is I forgot my inhaler when I came to the gym and it's like 20 something degrees outside. So going into like, temperature flux like outside super cold in the gym is really warm it always makes my lungs go crazy so between like every set I was trying to like run to the corner and like cough into my uh cough into my sleeve but not like cough so hard that people are just like oh my god he has the plague and uh whenever you're like working out and drinking protein and you're coughing really hard sometimes it gives you the queasies so almost uh almost hurled but didn't so yeah job well done Apologies for this quality right now. I'm using my uh, my iPhone, but uh, I had my uh, camera, my vlogging camera in my hand, and I set stuff down before I left the house because I had to run and get something really quick, and I got here and realized that I forgot it, so have to use the iPhone. So, yeah, sorry about that. But also, a little update on my health and my heart and such. I, <clears throat> you know, I went off some deco because that's the only thing that I could pinpoint that was giving me these heart palpitations because I am literally doing everything that I was at the time uh, before, <clears throat> like all the heart stuff started to happen and I've had zero like complications. Like I've cut the caffeine down a lot, but I'm back to taking like my pre-workout supplement, everything and no heart palpitations, no nothing. 
Well, I was gonna go back on Orcambi full time and I tried to get my pharmacy to call it in for me. Well, my doctor called me and he said that he is not going to write Orcambi again because Simdeco is the better medication, blah, 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 blah. But really it's just pressure from the CF Foundation because they're really wanting, you know, everyone to be on Simdeco. So I didn't really have enough Orcambi, I thought I did, to last me until the end of the month. So I had to refill Simdeco. So I'm back on Simdeco now. I've been back on it now for like, uh, almost a week, I think. And so far, no heart palpitations or anything like that, but I'm watching it very, very carefully. Because, like I said, that's the only thing that I can think of that was causing, you know, my, my heart to do what it was doing. Because I'm legit doing, I'm taking everything now that I was before. And now with some deco on top of it, if I suddenly get all that crap going on again, I'll know it's that. But, uh, he wanted to see me to talk about it, so I have to go at 8.40 a.m. on Wednesday to the doctor uh, to talk to him about it. He's gonna kinda do an overall wellness check on me and stuff. I don't know if I have to do PFTs or not that day. I'm gonna try to talk him out of it because I'm coming off the ass end of that cold and all that stuff going on, so I know my lungs aren't gonna be where they should be, and I would rather not blow a crappy number when I know it's gonna be low. So hopefully he'll not do PFTs on Wednesday. He'll probably want to see me back a little sooner than I would usually be seen because when I'm healthy, I go see him every three to four months. But if I'm sick or have been sick, he'll usually want me to come back and see him after like, like usually like three weeks to a month. But other than that, you know, I'm feeling great. Finally over that cold, back in the gym. Um, got huge, huge things coming in 2019. Like. I've been on the phone with a couple people uh, regarding, you know, my channel and things for 2019. So I have some huge things happening that I can't really tell you guys yet because they aren't 100% set in stone and the parties involved don't want me talking about it. But it's it's going to be rad. Like 2019 is going to be amazing for this channel. So yeah, I, I can't thank all you guys enough for all the love you showed me at the end of 2018 into 2019 between YouTube, Twitch, you know, you guys are amazing. Have to give a huge, huge shout out to Justin Baldoni. Dude, you're amazing. Five Feet Apart is going to be amazing. Thank you for all the love that you've shown me. And yeah, 2019 is just going to be even bigger and even better and just, you know, just absolutely epic. I am so stoked for it. I actually feel hopeful. Like I have like the, the excitement about life is kind of there again to whereas, you know, I, I've been I've been losing that lately, you know. I've had lately way more dark days than I have good, just, just with life and kind of how everything's been going. But I am super stoked for 2019. I'm trying. I'm keeping my head in a good space. I'm trying to just stick with grinding at the gym, keeping my motivation up, keeping my health good, and I'm looking to uh, kick 2019's ass. I hate that so much. Why do you keep asking so much? Hmm? Cool. Also, if you guys didn't know, I am now streaming on Twitch. So I uh, I stream almost every day. If you guys want to join up in the stream and chat, uh, follow my Twitch. The link is right here. Uh, I stream different games every day. It really just depends. Uh, but I'm always uh, in my Twitch chat talking to all of my followers, all of my subscribers. So if you guys want to chat and watch me be terrible at some video games, be sure to head over to Twitch and subscribe now. That will actually be a tier on my Patreon that will be dropping very, very soon. Whenever my Patreon goes live, there will be a tier where you can go and subscribe. And when you subscribe to that tier, we can jump in a party, we can game together if that's what you're into. Uh, a lot of awesome stuff coming on the Patreon. Uh, I'm going to have an option to where... We can do vlogs. If you've ever wanted to do a one-on-one -on -one vlog with me, ask whatever questions you wanted. There'll be an option for that. If you want to do a vlog and post it on your channel, there'll be options for that. There's going to be all sorts of options on the Patreon to help keep the channel afloat and help me stay in touch with you guys because you guys are what matters. You guys are the most important. Tomorrow is my, uh, like I said, my doctor's appointment. I'm going to go there. I'm also going to drop off all the leftover toys from the toy drive uh, at the children's hospital after I'm done. I haven't dropped them off yet because I had the heart issues going on and then I had that really bad cold and I didn't want to get anywhere near those toys when I had that cold because 
I don't know where those toys are going to and I didn't want them to go to any sort of immune suppressed kid and, you, and they end up getting a cold. So wanted to make sure I was 100% well before I attempted to deliver those. And I'm all good now, so after my doctor's appointment tomorrow, I'll be going over to Levine's and I'll be delivering all the rest of the toys. I'm actually about to get off of here right now and make another doctor's appointment. I need to make an ENT appointment because my ear, I can't hear anything out of this ear right here. The only reason that this is on this ear is because this is where I'm comfortable with the microphone. Patients with cystic fibrosis, you know, we have a lot of sinus issues and you constantly have sinus drainage into your throat, it can drain into your ears, and it can also lead to an increase in wax buildup. Just regular old earwax. It's not attractive, it's not sexy to talk about, but that's the that's the thing about it. I, I use special eardrops like once a month to keep mine like loosened up so I can clean it out and everything. Even then, at least two to three times a year, my ears, usually they alternate, will get completely compacted. I'll wake up and they'll be completely clogged. And no matter what I do, no matter how many eardrops I use, no matter how much I try to douche my ear out, it doesn't work, my ear just stays jammed, and I have to go to the ENT, and they basically get their super sucker, stick it in my ear, and suck all the gunk out. Like I said, not attractive, not a nice mental image, but hey, it's what you have to do. It's just another one of the many things that go along with CF. So, I'm gonna jump off here right now, make that call so I can finally hear out of my left ear, because it currently sounds like I'm underwater and everything's in mono, and it's driving me absolutely bananas. But yeah, thank you guys for checking out uh, this little quick update vlog. I'm also gonna have another reaction video up mm, probably by the end of the week. I'm going to be reacting to the other episode of Grey's Anatomy that features cystic fibrosis. So I get to grind through another dumpster fire of an episode. And then after that, I'm going to be going through the comments. I know you guys dropped a lot of comments for different things for me to react to. Some of which I've never even heard before. I didn't know that there was like a CF person in that show slash never heard of that show. So I'm gonna jump on there, check some more stuff out to react to. So be sure to stay tuned. And like I said earlier, there are huge, huge, huge things coming for the channel this year. Like, oh my God, I wish I could tell you guys, but I can't. Just know I am in some talks with some awesome people about doing some awesome things. So you don't want to miss out on it. So be sure to follow me on social media. All my links are right here. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications. Also, the Cystic Fibrosis Badass t-shirts will be back in stock within like a week or two. I'm currently switching printers right now. Uh, my amazing friend Alyssa, she had been printing and shipping them for me. But her boutique has absolutely blown up and she needs to focus all of her attention on that because she's just awesome, like a one-woman army and is absolutely killing it. So, currently switching printers uh, right now and I'm actually gonna have a brand new t-shirt design up on the shop that I think all of you guys are gonna dig. It is not just CF specific, it can be related to really anybody. When I drop the shirt, I'm also gonna tell you guys the message behind it and kind of what it means. So stay tuned for those. Those are gonna be up in the shop the same time the Cystic Fibrosis Badass t-shirts go up. Uh, for now, uh, go to the shop, grab a Cystic Fibrosis Badass sticker so you can stick on uh, whatever you want. Love all you guys, I will see you soon. Be sure to jump over and catch me on Twitch. I often dual stream to YouTube and Twitch, but Twitch is where I interact with everyone and where I will be chatting. So if you see me gaming on YouTube and I'm not replying to you, it's because the stream is being bounced from Twitch. So if you wanna chat and you wanna interact, you're gonna have to go over and follow me on Twitch. So do that. Love you guys. I will see you there, and I'll see you next time. Later. Oh, P.S. If you subscribe to me on Twitch, and you have the Twitch app downloaded onto your phone, you get exclusive emojis of Ember, me, and Nebula. So, uh, do you really want to miss out on that? Head over, subscribe, and get your emojis now.